tayo dito sa kababayan today. Buwan ng pag-ibig. Kaya naman, let's call in the fiancé and husband-to-be of Mia, si Len Mercado. Hi, Len! Pag-uusapan natin ang kasal na mangyayari sa Pilipinas. It's coming up real fast, guys. Diba? Ngayong buwan na. And I just remember, 10 years ago, I got married in Boracay. What? It was also a destination oh, wedding. Oh. And I just want to say thank you for coming to the show and sharing this very special moment in your life because I remember not too long ago when it was my turn and I was getting married in the Philippines. There's something about getting married yeah. mm -hmm. where our ancestors are from that's really, really, really special. Mm -hmm. Len, yes. this decision to get married in the Philippines, malaking decision yun. Huge. Yeah. Oh, bakit? <laughs> well, it's just, I can't imagine over 8,000 miles away, you know, preparing for a wedding is one thing, but the, the logistics, you know, how do you get people there, people who've never been to the Philippines, mm -hmm. how do you even take care of just the, the venue, the vendors, so it, it's overwhelming, it's a, it, or it can get overwhelming. Okay, so, so what are the biggest challenges yeah. of having a wedding in the Philippines na dito kayo nakatira? Okay. I think logistically it's a lot, um, but I will say with a good wedding planner, mm -hmm. all the vendors, yes. you would think finding <clears throat> vendors would be one of the biggest challenge, challenges, but with a good wedding planner, they can provide you with some really awesome vendors. So we've been able to Skype and Viber, all of our florists, our caterers. Um, Thank our, goodness for yes. you know, technology, oh, yeah. I can, yeah, I can't imagine, honestly, I can't imagine the challenges maybe like 10 years ago, but it's a little simpler yeah. because of technology, mm -hmm. even though logistically it's still tough trying to take a hundred people here yeah, eight thousand sure. miles away. Yeah. Let's sure. talk about that. And daming pupunta sa wedding nyo, mm -hmm. but still very minimal compared to Philippine weddings, mm -hmm. yes, di ba? Yes. Where you have hundreds and hundreds of mm -hmm. kamag-anaks there. What do you have in store for your guests that will be there? Is it just the wedding or may mga excursion pa kayong plina plano? Well, we really hope that they take advantage and make this a whole vacation. That's what we told them. So, you know, I'm happy about that they're going to be part of the wedding, but a lot of them, like I mentioned before, it's their first time. So I'm really hoping that yeah. they take the time to really experience um, the country. So we do have some excursions. Um, Saan kayo pupunta, Len? El Nido is one of them. That's yeah. probably wow. our... Wow! Maganda yeah. doon. Nakapunta yeah. na ako doon sa oh. Palawan. Okay. Yes. So okay. we're going to go there. We're so excited yeah. about that trip. Um, the wedding itself is um, in the Tagaytay the, the area, so the they're going yeah. to be able to see that mm -hmm. that place. Um, we're going to do some nightlife at the fort, yes. yeah, so that they can experience that. And, and a lot of the history too, like Intramuros, a lot of yes. these people have never been, or maybe it's been like 20, 30 years. I think many of them have forgotten about these special spots. Yes, the historic so the his, spots. The historic spots, so I think it's going to be a lot of fun for a lot of these people that may have only heard about the Philippines, but now really my gosh, I didn't realize, mm -hmm. you know, all of this history behind, you know, our ancestors. There's a lot of rich history of the Philippines that people don't know about. So. Well, so Intermus, oh, sorry, and, yeah. and like some museums that we have mm -hmm. lined up. So we're going so to So it's a jam-packed schedule, is, to say the yeah. least. Yeah, yeah. we're trying to give them an itinerary and options as we get closer to, and then up to them to see which ones they want to be a part of, which ones they don't want to be a part of. Yeah. Okay, well, I just have one piece of advice for yes. the wedding. Please. Because I remember <laughs> during your wedding day, yes. Because so much is going on, you forget to eat. Please, <laughs> please make sure you eat because, yes, you know, yes. it's such, everything's going on and, yes. you know, it, it is overwhelming. And leading yeah. up to it, um, as you know, because you're here, uh, it's hard, that control factor. Yes, sure. it, it, yeah, it is. Oh, gosh. So that's... please, when you're there, remember to eat. Yes, no, that's good advice. Yeah, and you know, also, alam nyo naman, sa Pilipinas, walang divorce, di ba? <laughs> <That's Yeah. right. laughs> I, I got married That's in the right. Philippines. No divorce. <laughs> That's you right. Guys, you, That's right. You, yes, you know this, yes, right? Yes, that's true. Okay. That's right. Yes. So, so I, I just wanted to remind you because, di ba, <laughs> nag-decision na, na kayong dalawa, pareho <laughs> kayong Filipino-Americans, <laughs> pwede kayong yes. ikasal dito, but you chose to do it there. The yes, right? No divorce. <laughs> 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 well, it's so wonderful to, to be able to, you know, put this event together. Mm. Um, it's it's momentous yeah, and it's one of the biggest days of your life. At dahil nga Valentine's <laughs> na, um, I want to thank you for sharing. You, I know this is a very private yes. occasion for both of you, but um, 
it's a big deal. It yeah, is, and, it is. And then if it, you know, if any Thalams are thinking of exactly. having a wedding over there, I, I encourage yeah. it. I think it's going to be really something special, and, and that's what we're hoping for. And, and our hope really is that the people that go fall in love with the people over there. That's yes. really our hope, is that they fall in love with the people the way we have. And Because both of you have been to the Philippines oh, yes. Yes. countless Several times, times yes. Yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. And I'm sure you're going to continue to go yeah. back, mm -hmm. you know, as That's a married what... couple now. Yeah. <laughs> and one of the things I wanted to add, too, one of the things we're so passionate about is really trying to get other people more exposed to the Philippines and those that are Philams to really consider it not only as a place to vacay at, but really consider it to maybe mm -hmm. do business in, maybe to, to get married at, because it's a beautiful country. So mm -hmm. a, a lot and of people Hopefully by out. taking this many people, we will be able to contribute to the economy and, of and the tourists. Of course. Even a little On the way. tourists, in a little way, way you know, way. hopefully. Absolutely. You know. and, and the fact that, you know, everybody that's working on the wedding, like your yeah. vendors, yes. they're all Filipino. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. You know, are. so you, you definitely are bringing economy in your own little okay. way to yeah. the Philippines, you know, our home, our home, home. Yeah. our yeah. motherland, yeah. rather. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so now that, um, leading up to it, mm -hmm. what are your biggest fears? going into the wedding? Actually, um, not so many. I just hope everyone's safe, travel mm -hmm. safe, but that goes along with anywhere you're traveling. Mm -hmm. um, so that everyone just stays safe, gets there safely, and has, has a good time. I don't really have any major... You don't have any fears? You don't? Maybe falling down during while I'm walking. <laughs> like, uh, like when I'm walking up, like falling down or something. I'm scared of something. Can I share my fear? Yeah, what's your fear? Eating something I'm allergic to and then my face blows up. On the wedding day and then you're all like swollen? No, but you have to be careful. An allergic reaction is very scary. You have scary. to be careful because a, a lot of our kababayans that go back to the Philippines, yes. nagkakaroon ng food poisoning. Yeah, that's right. Diba? Because the handling of the, yeah. the mm -hmm. food, diba? Yeah. But okay. This is an honest question for people considering getting married in the Philippines. Yes, yes. Mas mahal bang magpakasal doon? Oh, that's dito? a great question. Diba yes. kasi? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Well, I will say it's not as cheap as what people think. <laughs> people are like, oh my gosh, it's so much cheaper. It's dollar not about for dollar, the... really, it's comparable. I think it's what opinion. you get. It's what you get, really. Okay. You know. We'll discuss this uh, yeah. more in detail when we return yeah. here on Kababayan today. It's yeah. very interesting. <laughs> uh, you're thinking about getting married in our home country of the Philippines. We'll be right back with the soon-to-be Mercados. <laughs>